Hello children, Sairam. Welcome back to Social Studies class. We are going to continue with the revision. In our last class, we completed till question number 4. So here is question number 5 on the screen. Select the correct term given in the options. Number 1. A book of maps. Now children you have to understand what is given here. Okay. A book of maps. Now what is the meaning of it? What is it called? Okay. A book of maps. Let's see the options. A. Dictionary. B. Novel. C. Atlas. D. Encyclopedia. Children, a book of maps is called as Atlas. So, let's click on C, that is Atlas. Number 2. The amount of water vapor in the air. What is it called? Let's read the options. A. Humidity. B. Temperature. C. Climate. And D. Weather. The amount of water vapor in the air is called as. Yes, tell me the answer. Yes, it's called as. A that is humidity. So I will click on A. Okay. Question number 3. A very large piece of ice floating in the sea. What is it called? A. Snow. B. Wood. C. Iceberg. D. Plastic. Yes, absolutely correct. It's C. Iceberg. I'll click on C. Now, let's move to the next question. That is question number 6. Select the correct answer to the given questions. Okay. After which incident did Gandhiji launch the non-cooperation movement? A. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre and Rulakt Acts convinced Gandhiji to launch the non-cooperation movement. B. The Simon Commission and demand for Purna Swaraj convinced Gandhiji to launch the non-cooperation movement. C. The Civil Disobedience Movement and Rolect Acts convinced Gandhiji to launch the Non-Cooperation Movement. D. The Jallianwala Bagh and Simon Commission convinced Gandhiji to launch the Non-Cooperation Movement. So, which is the correct option? Which is the correct answer? Tell me. Yes, it's option A is the correct answer. That is, the Jallianwala Bagh massacre and Rolex Acts convinced Gandhiji to launch non-cooperation movement. Okay. Let's see the next question. What kind of climate does Greenland have? Let's go through all the options. Option A, Greenland lies in torrid zone and hence the climate is very hot. Option B, Greenland lies near the equator and hence the climate is very hot and wet. Greenland lies in temperate zone. And hence, the climate is mild. 
option d greenland lies in the frigid zone and hence the climate is very cold so which is the correct answer yes of course d is the correct option that is greenland lies in the frigid zone and hence the climate is very cold question number 3 how is direction usually shown in maps options let's see a maps usually show south at the top north at the bottom east to the right and west to the left option b see children while reading the options you also have to understand what it is given don't just go on reading read and simultaneously you have to understand okay option b maps usually show east at the top west at the bottom north to the right and left to the and west to the left is it correct option okay let's see further c maps usually show north at the top south at the bottom west to the right and east to the left and option d maps usually show north at the top south at the bottom east to the right and west to the left now tell me which is the correct answer yes option d is correct because here all the directions are placed in a correct manner that is maps usually show north at the top south at the bottom east towards the right and west towards the left okay next select the correct answer to the given questions question number 1 why is a map preferred to a globe now children here we have brief questions so be very attentive while reading the options okay let's read the question once again why is a map preferred to a globe a it is difficult to carry a globe around it is not possible to see all the parts of the earth surface at the same time it cannot show detailed information see children this all statements belong to option a okay as it is a brief answer so uh, there are many statements in single option okay option b it is easy to carry a globe around it is not possible to see all the parts of the earth surface at the same time it cannot show detailed information option c it is difficult to carry a globe around it is possible to see all the parts of the earth surface at the same time it shows detailed information and option d it is easy to carry a globe around it is possible to see all the parts of the earth surface at the same time it cannot show detailed information see children you may feel like all the options are same but there are minor 
changes so you have to be very attentive while reading the options so here option a is the correct answer okay it is difficult to carry a globe around it is not possible to see all the parts of the earth surface at the same time it cannot show detailed information okay question number 2 what kind of clothes do most people in greenland wear let's read the options a the people in greenland wear clothes made of cotton they were they wear jackets with thick fur lined with hoods their legs are covered with long boots made of tiger skin option b the people in greenland wear clothes made of wool they wear jackets with thick fur lined with hoods their legs are covered with shoes and socks option c the people in greenland wear clothes made of animal skin and fur they wear jackets with thick fur lined with hoods their legs are covered with long boots made of seal skin and option d the people in greenland wear clothes made of animal skin and fur they wear cotton jackets their legs are covered with long boots made of elephant's skin so children which is the correct option tell me yes very good option c is the correct one okay the people in greenland wear clothes made of animal skin and fur they wear jackets with thick fur lined with hoods their legs are covered with long boots made of seal skin now here on the screen we have question number 8 yes identify the picture by selecting the correct option so here we have image and then we also have the options fine let's read first of all see the image and you have to identify the correct name okay option a dayanand saraswati option b bal gangadhar tilak option c dada bai navroji option d gopal krishna gokhale yes children very good it's option b the image is of yes bal gangadhar tilak next tell me whose image is this yes let's read the options first a lala lajpat rai b raja ram mohan roy c sayed ahmed khan and d subhash chandra bose yes this image is of lala lajpat rai option a yes third one very easy to identify correct na yes let's read see the uh, let's see the options a mahatma gandhi ji b jawaharlal nehru c molana abdul kalam azad and d bhagat singh very good option d is the correct answer this image is of bhagat sing fine now here we come to the last question okay question number 9 identify the places marked on the outline map of greenland okay so children this is the map over here okay and here is the question the latitude that passes through greenland now where is the latitude marked yes this is the latitude which is marked on the map okay children do you remember which line is it fine which latitude is it let's read the options tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle antarctic circle yes absolutely correct this is 
an arctic circle okay arctic circle passes through greenland question number 2 second biggest city yes tell me second biggest city of greenland yes so this is the arctic circle and here lies the second biggest city of greenland tell me children which is the biggest second biggest city yes let's read the option first sisimut b new c kinshasa and d kananga excellent a is the correct option sisimut is the second biggest city of greenland yes now here we have third question the capital city of greenland capital city of greenland tell me the answer children let's read the options a congo b sisimut c kabul and d nuuk which is the correct answer children yes d is the correct answer okay nuuk is the capital city of greenland and it lies over here that is this is the arctic circle it lies over here fine next the nearest european country that is an island that is marked over here okay the nearest european country that is an island option a thailand b poland c iceland and d is switzerland yes children this place is iceland okay it is the nearest european country which is an island okay so that's it with all our questions i hope everything is clear to you all okay so wish you a good luck do an excellent performance and be very alert while clicking the correct option okay all the best and goodbye take care